What's going on everybody? Welcome to Cess Project. We are going to be building my plane tray for my Japanese inspired plane cabinet in this episode. I'm not exactly sure how many episodes this is going to take to finish. I'm going to say three or four, same as my workbench, which I finally have got more work done on my workbench. So right here, I actually made a huge mistake, um, and it resulted in me sawing my finger, which you'll see in just a second. Unfortunately, I was out of focus here, but yep, right there it was. Um, I cut my finger, and it didn't hurt very bad, but it was pretty deep. I decided to go with little baby tenons for the frame. If you know me, you would assume that I would be doing dovetails, but I'm trying to switch up my style. Well, maybe not switch up my style, but go to where my woodworking all started. And that was with Japanese style. And I kind of uh, veered away from that, and I'm gonna be going back into that um, full force now, so. Um, expect a lot of Japanese style stuff on my channel from pretty much now on. Also the design for this cabinet has changed. I was going to do doors with hinges but I've been reading uh, Desk King's book on Shoji and I believe I'm going to do sliding um, doors for that. There's just going to be two. Looking back on this, I would have done this part right here differently. Um, this was more of a, a throw together than I wanted it to be. This panel of oak actually came out really nice though. So here we are going to start in the Kumiko work and this is the part that I really enjoy. This was actually extremely complicated. I designed it in SketchUp and I kind of had to really figure out how I wanted everything to lay out. This is not the traditional way to make Kumiko patterns, but this is just the way that I did it so I could get the divisions right for each of the planes, and it turned out actually really, really, really nice. I didn't want to go too much in detail with how I did this because I would like to go over it in a lot more detail in a later video because this is something I really enjoy and it's something I actually want to have a little bit more practice in before I make a real in-depth video of it. Making Kumiko patterns is a lot easier than you might think, and if you just jump in there and try it out, you'll realize that that is true. The, the numbering of each Kumiko piece was actually really important for the order. So that way I could actually keep all the divisions in the right spot and, and not get mixed up. So here I'm actually just assembling the uh, dividers. I was careful not to snap the pieces because that would have been uh, not very good. That was just a trial run to make sure everything fit and everything was good. So I just took them apart, I added some glue on the inside of the joints, and I will reassemble them. And for anybody wondering, no, that is not mustard, that is actually glue. So 
So here it is. This is what the divisions look like, and they turned out way better than I thought they were going to. So this is the way the tray is actually going to fit inside the cabinet. It's going to be leaned up at an angle. It might be a little bit steeper of an angle, but this is how it will sit in the cabinet. So this is a little sneak peek of what's to come in the next episode of the plane cabinet. It's a double tenon. It gets a lot more complicated, so make sure you guys do not miss it, and I will see you next video.